Lesson 2-1, Complex Numbers. Complex numbers are a larger group of numbers than what we usually work with. We usually work with just real numbers. But complex numbers also include numbers that have the imaginary unit. The imaginary unit is i, and i is the square root of negative 1. Now before we've been told that the square root of negative numbers don't exist, well, they do exist, they're just not, quotes, real numbers. These are terrible names. They're not real and imagined, they're just one type of number and another type of number. They're both useful. i squared is negative 1. So, when you see, usually they go like this. When you see the square root of negative 1, you make it i. When you see i squared, you rewrite it as negative 1. Complex numbers are in the form a plus bi. Where a is the real part, and bi is the imaginary part. So complex numbers are the combinations of real and imaginary. We can graph complex numbers on what's known as the complex plane. The horizontal axis is known as the real axis, and the vertical axis is the imaginary axis. But again, don't think of it as existing and not existing, or real and made up, they're just two different types. That's it. So the horizontal is real, the vertical is imaginary. So let's graph 3 plus 2i. So we'll go 3 in the real and up 2 in the i. So this is like the point 3, 2. So over 3, up 2. Let's graph the point negative 2, negative uh, negative 2 minus 4i, which is like negative 2, negative 4. So it's negative 2 in the real, negative 4 in the imaginary. Operations like to add and subtract. To add and subtract complex numbers, you simply combine like terms. So we combine the real parts, 2 plus 6 is 8, and we combine the imaginary parts, 3i and minus 2i is 1i. If we're going to multiply, you multiply just like you do with x's. Just when you get i squared, make it negative 1. So let's multiply these. So we just use the distributive property. 2 times 6, 2 times negative 7i, 3i times 6, 3i times negative 7i, that would be negative 21i squared. However, the i squared is negative 1. So that would become a plus 21 instead of a negative 21. And of course, we can combine those in the middle to make 4i. So now 12 and 21 would make 33 plus 4i. Let's try another one. Multiplying again, 3 times 3 is 9, negative 3i positive 3i, and negative i squared. Combine those to make 0, and i squared is negative 1. So that become 9 plus 1 is 10. Notice that that is only real. There's no i's in that answer. Notice the numbers are 3 plus i and 3 minus i. The only difference was the sign in the middle. Those are complex conjugates. 
where it's the same numbers, the difference is the sign in the middle. When complex conjugates are multiplied, the product is always a real number. To divide complex numbers, we can't have an i in the denominator. So it's like with square roots, you can't have a square root in the denominator, while i is the square root of negative 1. So it's not allowed in the denominator. So we need to get rid of the i in the denominator. So we'll do that by multiplying the top and the bottom by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So in this example, my denominator is 4 plus 6i. I'll multiply it by 4 minus 6i to the top and the bottom. That way, in the bottom, when I multiply them together, it'll be just real. So on the top, 2 times 4, 2 times negative 6i, negative 3 times 4i, and I become plus 18i squared. Oh wait, i squared becomes negative 1. The bottom we have 4 times 4, negative 24i plus 24i minus 36i squared. Oh, but wait, i squared is negative 1. Combine things, I have 8, that would be negative 18, and then negative 24i on the top. The bottom, that cancels out to nothing. I have 16. This become a plus 36. 16 plus 36 is 52. Well, the format is a plus bi, so let's split this into two separate fractions. You can do that when there's a single denominator and then reduce it. So 10 on 52 reduced by 2 to be negative 5 over 26. And 24 over 52 reduced by 2's making it to reduce it by 4. Hmm. Making it um, 6 over 13 i. Let's do another example with i's. 5 minus i squared. Remember, squaring is taking something and multiplying it by itself. Then we can distribute 5 times 5. 5 times negative i. Negative i times 5. And i squared. Ah, but i squared is negative 1. So I have 25 minus 1 and negative 10i. Let's try these. Okay, so now we're starting from the square roots. Well, remember, um, we could make this, the square root of a negative is i, and the square root of a negative is i, and then that would give us i squared, and we could multiply the things inside the square roots. The i squared is a minus 1, and 28 is 4 times 7. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 7. I know if you just multiply them together to begin with, you just get 2 square root of 7, but those negatives are important. So that's why we brought the negatives out first. All right, let's subtract these. Remember, when you add or subtract, they have to be the same terms, combined like terms. So we need to simplify these first. Negative 27, we have the i for the negative, and 27 could be 9 times 3.
with a negative 12. The negative is i, and then 12 could be 4 times 3. Square root of 9 is 3, so this is 3. Square root of 3i minus the square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 3i, usually the letters go at the end. And so now the underlying part is my like term. So I have 3 minus 2 of them, leaving 1 of these square root of 3i's. Again, there's 3 of the square root of 3i's minus 2 of the square root of 3i's leaves 1 of the square root of 3i's.